Now, Rita Groff is one of my favorite writers because she manages to combine genuine intellectual sweep and ambition with a lightness of touch and a sense of whimsy that means she's always coming at the most difficult subjects from a slightly off angle that seems to open them up and illuminate them with a kind of gentleness that is uh, really intoxicating. This is a show that's based on a true story. It's inspired by the life of a man whose name is Meyer Levin. He came across an early translation of the Diary of Anne Frank. It had been translated into French. He became so interested, he got in touch with Otto Frank, and he said, I want to help you to get this book published in America. And he did that, and he wrote a New York Times book review of the book, and he was very involved and very in love with the diary and with the girl who had written the diary who died in the Bergen-Belsen concentration camp. One of the beautiful things about compulsion is that there is uh, uh, extensive work of puppetry throughout the show, an enchanting world of puppets within compulsion that give it an extra theatrical dimension that it's both really exciting and also completely appropriate to the content of the piece. Because their faces don't move, it's we in the audience who bring the emotions to marionettes. We project things onto them. And there's something absolutely right about the idea that Anne Frank in this play is played by a marionette. Rina manages to tackle subjects as painful as the Holocaust and the aftermath of the Holocaust, but she tackles it with a kind of clarity of vision and a kind of insight that is, um, I can't find another word to use, but delightful. It's genuinely. I grew up reading the Diary of Anne Frank. There's not a time that I can think of that I didn't know who Anne Frank was, and I think I am like that in many people. I mean, she is a figure that so many people fall in love with. The love that Meyer Levin had for Anne Frank is what is at the heart of the story. And again, even though this is a fictionalized story, um, I wanted to try to tell his story. Mm -hmm.